record button here. Once it gets going, we'll get started here. So good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Good, good morning. My name is Clint Gatewood. I'm Vice President of Channels here at SASMAX Corporation. And welcome to one of our snapshot webinars featuring IOVOX. So we'll get started here today. And we've got some great presentation. I'll get everyone introduced here as we move forward the slide deck. Just to, to cover the agenda real quick on what to expect uh, today. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little about SASMAX up front, just so you're familiar with who we are. Uh, we get a lot of different people on, uh, people that are already uh, solution providers with us and people that are looking to or, or considering becoming solution providers. So we'll talk just a, a real briefly about SASMAX. Then I'll introduce you to Matt McLeod over at uh, IOBOX, uh, and he'll, he'll go through his presentation about uh, his product and how you can uh, work with him and, and, and provide your clients some great uh, great software that they'll, they're going to love. Um, and we'll, so he'll, he'll go through the why clients are buying IOBOX, what the sales model looks like, you know what's in it for you you know how do you how do you make your money what the commissions looks like kind of go through what you can uh, expect to make over a, a relationship with iobox the meeting goes from two to five so we fly in in the morning we get together with all maybe an hour so, uh, put the mute button on please one of the panelists thank you um Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> how to get, uh, and then we'll talk a little about how to get started and register a deal uh, with IOLOX. So, uh, SASMAX platform, and, and my slides are, you know, I couldn't get this fixed. But we'll talk about the, you know, so our introductions or slides are a little off, but uh, we'll talk a little about the, the SASMAX platform for our solution providers. Is at the end of the day, well, what we're doing is we're really helping match up a SAS solutions with. Our solution providers so it's all about the right people with the right profiles the right business models uh, getting together to, to be able to forge relationships much quicker uh, in the marketplace and to to move forward and get times of revenue up uh, we provide a lot of best practice tools for for SaaS companies and uh, and for our resellers so that it's much easier to do business together through our marketplace and we have a, a growth engine coming out uh, and the ability to and it's, it's already out we got our first uh, our web stores launched, and we're we're launching a lot more of our white white labeled SaaS web stores for solution providers. So it's something that you really want to check out and have a conversation with us. So if you're interested in those, also let us know about that, and, and we can have a conversation with you. So your opportunity in the marketplace, you know, from a solution provider standpoint, SaaS is is fast becoming a very mature market for delivering software, and and will become the predominant way software is delivered in the in the near future, if, if not very close to being there today. Uh, and there's still a lot of opportunity there. Only 23% of software's uh, service type applications are sold through the channel today. And a lot of a lot of the SaaS vendors and, and the whole SaaS organizations are moving towards uh, the channel and moving towards solution providers. There's a lot of great opportunity for solution providers out there today with, with SaaS. It's you know generating new revenue for current customers, gives you great new products that you can take to new client bases to expand your business and, and your foothold and, and broaden yourself out or target the uh, you know, highly target into particular verticals uh, with some very good applications to, to help you uh, get into new clients and, and give you a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Uh, new service revenues, obviously, uh, coming in from areas that you may not have dipped your toes into before because, you know, software as a service is really there to help you and, and provides a lot of the, the infrastructure needed uh, that you don't have to provide so you can bring in some new service revenues. Uh, along with those new partnering opportunities that you're forging in the marketplace. It's also very important to stay ahead of the game and stay relevant in your marketplace. You know, clients, whether you're selling or selling SaaS to them or not, they're buying it, they're using it, either a shadow IT or just, just buying it uh, because you're not offering it and, and they're looking for different solutions. So it's very important to stay uh, up ahead uh, of the game and important to, to stay relevant to your client base. <clears throat> we help re resellers. Uh, Discover the right SaaS apps and earn more re more revenues. You know, we work with our with with companies like IOVOX to provide special incentives and offers to anyone that's a SASMAX uh, you know uh, solution provider. We have uh, our own dedicated account executives here that will help you. So we have partner success managers that will work with you uh, to help you really cut down your research and development time. So you know if you're if your clients are looking for a particular product or you're you're looking for a product to add uh, to your line cards and to provide to your clients, you can talk to one of our partner success managers and they'll they'll help you with the with finding those particular apps and get you introduced to the right people. Uh, we have a huge database of apps. You know, it's one of the largest ones on uh, you're going to find online if it's not and, and pretty much the most comprehensive. And so far as the data we have about the uh, app apps, 
So you'll, you'll be able to see that, uh, you know, just a little profile here of iVoxes, but when you go on and click on their profile on the marketplace, you're gonna see much more relevant information and, and decision-making type of, of, of information. And again, ma making introductions to the right people for you. You know, when you're in the marketplace, you wanna partner with people that are like you and, and have same, the same goals and objectives, and that's what we work to, to provide. We do a lot of snapshot webinars like this. We have uh, many more of them coming up. And as part of our, our basically, you know, our, our SaaS education program, because we're educating you about uh, products and services that you're interested in. We also do partner perspectives. We do a lot of other activities uh, uh, in the marketplace and are crossing the SASM type of education tools that we have that you can that you can utilize. Uh, and, and we provide, you know, uh, you know PRMs and affiliate, uh, affiliate links and marketing enablement tools for our channels. And, and best of all, the SaaS Max for resellers is you know, it's free. There's no cost to, to you. So today I, I want to introduce to you uh, IOVox. They're a global leader in analytics for business communications. And today uh, I have with me, I don't know if Carl has joined or not. I, I haven't seen him. Um, I am on. Carl's here. Okay. Hello. Carl and Matt from IOVox. So uh, Carl, Matt, would you, uh, Carl, maybe go first. You want to introduce yourself today? Uh, hi, I mean, this is very much Matt's presentation, but I'm Carl DeChico. Uh, I am the uh, Chief Commercial Officer for IVOX. I, I run our EMEA business, so I, I work out of London. Um, we're based in London and the west coast of the US. Um, but as I say, I'll hand over to Matt, who will do most of this uh, presentation for you. Great, thanks, Carl. Yeah, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Matt McLeod, um, account executive here at IOVox, and uh, I work out of our West Coast office. So I'm in San Francisco, <clears throat> and uh, really excited to share the IOVox platform with all of you here to hopefully get uh, a few new partners. So we're, uh, we're excited about this webinar, and thanks for everybody for attending. And as, we, as I move into the next slide here, just real quick, I didn't mention it earlier during the agenda. If you have questions or when you have questions, please type them into the question box. And we'll either they're very relevant questions to the material that Matt's uh, uh, pre uh, presenting at that point in time. I will bring that question in, and if not, I will hold it to the end, and we'll have a question and answer session. So again, uh, if you have questions, please type them into the question section of GoToMeeting. And onward, onward, and upward. Perfect. Thanks, Clint. Um, yeah. So just a, a little bit of a background. Uh, you know, good place to start is allow all of you to know who we are and a little bit of a, a background on IELBOX. So. Excuse me. We've been uh, in business about 10 years now. Uh, as Carl mentioned, uh, based in London, uh, we expanded to the U.S. Uh, about two years ago now. So we do have offices, as I mentioned, uh, in San Francisco, uh, Chico as well, uh, and also uh, Paris and, and Sydney. So really a, a global, uh, global business. Uh, we work with uh, customers all over the globe. So we have uh, clients in 32 countries. Uh, our services can be provisioned in uh, 70 countries, so we can really work uh, almost anywhere. And uh, you know, some of our clients uh, we'll get into in a little bit, but you can see at the bottom here, you know, really a lot of trusted brands, a lot of global brands that people recognize: uh, British Telecom, uh, Open Table, Auto Trader, Web.com, just to name a few. So, um, you know, really helps in the selling process when you've got uh, really some respected brands in your por portfolio. So. So thanks. Uh, so it's so a little bit of uh, you know what we do. Um, you know what do we provide to our clients? You know at a high level, we're we're a you know a technology analytics company uh, for telephony. So uh, our, our really our bread and butter uh, is around providing analytics for marketing attribution. So allowing companies to really understand uh, you know their different campaigns, their different marketing initiatives. Uh, what's driving calls, what's working, uh, and allowing them to really optimize that spend. Something really worth noting and, and important to understand is that we are a technology that can layer on top of current solutions that you may have sold into your customer base. Uh, so we wouldn't be replacing uh, technologies that you guys have worked hard uh, selling into your customers, really you know, layering on top of that. So any sort of cloud or on-premise PBX platform you know, we work with. Um, you know, some of the, the key areas uh, where, where we've really uh, had success over the years, as you can see here, uh, you know, really uh, clients and, and customers, uh, typically, you know, high ticket items, uh, businesses that rely hev heavily on phone calls. So real estate agencies, for, for instance, uh, nobody's buying a house online without speaking to somebody. You know, a phone call is extremely important. 
um, in that se selling process. So we work with a lot of different types of, of real estate uh, firms, agencies, portals. Uh, same goes for automobile dealerships uh, and portals as well. So again, typically not buying a, buying a car without speaking to somebody first. So again, uh, really important uh, to, to have those calls and be able to provide analytics on what's driving those phone calls for those dealers. Uh, directories, booking services, I mentioned OpenTable as a customer of ours. Uh, so again, we do intelligent things around telephony, of course, providing analytics, but also helping uh, businesses like OpenTable increase revenues by capturing uh, you know, missed bookings and, and allowing uh, bookings to take place over the phone. So I'll get into that in some examples later on, but something to take note of. And then another area where we've really had a lot of success is around paid search. So most businesses in some form or another are uh, buying you know, Google ad campaigns and keywords, and we have the ability to uh, highlight what's driving phone calls from those keywords. So businesses that rely on inbound uh, phone leads to convert business and, and increase revenue, that's where we shine and, and really able to uh, uncover what keywords are working for them. So a little bit about the, the ideal target for, for IOVOX. So uh, keep in mind that our, our technology can apply to a lot of different businesses, a lot of different industries and verticals, uh, but there are certain areas where we, where we do have a sweet spot. But in general, uh, we work with mid-sized and enterprise uh, companies, uh, companies with a budget. So we look for, for businesses that already have uh, you know, an extensive or, or pretty healthy advertising budget. You don't really want to target companies that you know, maybe only spend a few thousand dollars a month in, in advertising because uh, it's going to be tough to justify the IOBOX platform. Uh, so we look for companies that, you know, at least a five-figure uh, monthly ad budget is, is a good starting point because then you can really justify our solution. We'll get into some of the pricing stuff later on. Um, a really important thing is, is to target businesses that rely on the phone, phone calls. Uh, you're not going to really want to go after businesses that, let's say, are e-commerce driven, like a, you know, a t-shirt shop that uh, sells t-shirts online and never speaks to their customers. That's not going to be a target for IOBOX. You really want to look for businesses that are doing a lot of, lot of different marketing initiatives and rely on those inbound phone leads uh, to drive business. And the, the types of people we typically work with, it can change a little bit, but the typical sort of target uh, are folks in that marketing area. So a chief marketing officer, a VP of marketing, or a chief revenue officer, those are going to be our, our key targets as we, uh, we look to sell our, our platform. Clint? So getting into uh, some, some sample use cases. So again, I mentioned you know, we really apply to a lot of different types of businesses. So uh, this could be an hour, a two hour webinar if we wanted to go through every single exhaustive use case of, of the platform. So that's really important to note that when you start to look at your customer base and starting to think of who might be able to leverage IOVOX, if you're not sure, uh, we're here to work with you. We want, we want partners, we want to be able to to sit on a call and go through some of the customers and ideas and really try to help figure out you know, who are some good targets. Uh, but to at least provide a, a few examples to start with, uh, direct marketing is a great, great area for us. So you can think of firms or, or marketing firms, you know, there are, there are tons out there. And businesses have a wide variety of areas of who they work with. So it's impo important for these firms uh, to really provide ROI to their clients and to show what they're, that they're delivering value. And so that's what we provide to these firms, allowing them uh, to take the IOVOX platform, apply our call tracking to the uh, campaigns that they're doing for their clients, and, the, and uh, have that ability to provide a clear ROI of what they're delivering to those clients. It's important. It helps to differentiate them in the space. and really helps for them to retain clients as well. So. Again, look at your customer base, look at your network, and, and start to think, you know, do you have any marketing firms out there um, that you might be able to target that, that are interested in improving ROI to their clients? And I can tell you, most are, so it's, it's a great target for us. I touched on real estate already, so we, we've had a tremendous amount of success in the real estate space. Uh, working with property portals. Uh, everybody's familiar with Zillow. Now, they're not a, a client of ours, but I use that as a use case because uh, people are, are pretty familiar with that type of uh, business, so portals like that. 
uh, but also working directly with real estate agencies and firms. Uh, again, it comes down to marketing attribution. So these are, are high ticket, you know, big dollar sales. Every phone call matters. Every lead matters. Uh, and what we do is shine a light on, on what's working for these firms. Where are these leads coming from? You know, should they still put an ad in the, uh, you know, town and country magazine? Or is it not worth spending that money any longer? So we really help to uh, highlight what's working uh, and, and crucially what's not working as well. Um, so again, looking at your, your customer base, looking at your networks, uh, start to think about real estate agencies uh, and firms that, that want to better optimize their marketing uh, and drive more revenue, because that's what we're all about. And I mentioned earlier uh, a use case of, of booking services. So uh, again, OpenTable, uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with OpenTable. We work with them. Uh, some other uh, reservation systems as well, Book a Table and, and some others. Uh, but what we do for these clients is <clears throat> when uh, somebody maybe looks on Open Table for a restaurant but decides to pick up the phone and call the restaurant, uh, we can actually get into that path and we have a solution that automates the, uh, the booking of that reservation. So the diner can select how many people they have, what time, what date they want to dine with that restaurant, and we can automatically take that booking rate from the phone. Now, we also work directly with restaurants, and we have a, a client, a great use case last year, increased revenue $10 million simply by capturing missed phone calls and turning them into bookings. So that's a huge, huge opportunity. And it also allows these restaurants to not have to focus on the phone, but really focus on the diners that are in their restaurants and being able to provide a, a good experience. So it really helps with operations and also helps with increasing revenues. So again, you know, look to see if you have connections to large restaurant chains because uh, we can really, really help these businesses a lot and prove a ton of value for them and, and they, they stick around for a long time. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for you. Uh, I mentioned some of these customers already, um, you know, AutoTrader, Web.com, uh, Book a Table. You know, I haven't gotten into the, the AutoTrader use case or, or Zoopla. Zoopla is kind of like the Zillow, like I mentioned before, like the Zillow of the UK. We help them go from being ranked the, the number 10 property portal in the UK to now the number one uh, through leveraging our solutions uh, to prove the value of, of Zoopla to their client base, which are our real estate agents. Uh, so again, lots of different types of businesses. We work with a whole bunch of different yellow page businesses. Uh, so again, global brands, uh, recognizable brands that allow you, as you go out and approach your network and, and look to sell Aislebox, that you can uh, you know, rely on some really uh, quality reference uh, brands in our portfolio. So how do our partners pitch Aislebox? Well, you know, it, it, it's pretty straightforward uh, sales cycle. Uh, we have that initial demo. We discuss the platform. We show the capabilities of the solution. Typically have a secondary call for a technical discussion uh, to really scope out the project. And then, you know, it goes to proposal and negotiations and, and pushing to close. So our sales cycles can be a few weeks. They can be longer for some of the, you know, large brands, you know, a couple months maybe. But typically, you know, we can we can get deals done in, in a few weeks. So uh, that's important for you guys as resellers uh, because you earn commissions faster, which is nice. So, uh, you know, important to note there. And, and I, I'll, I'll mention, and I'll probably bring it up again, but, um, you know, we really want partners. We don't want to just train uh, folks and kind of let them loose in the wild. We want to work with you. We want to be there every step of the way so we can help with demos and, uh, help with calls and things like that. So, so we're there to support you guys, you know, through every phase. Um, you can see some of the selling points here. I'll just mention one, uh, you know, I'll probably repeat it a few times, but I want to make sure it's driven home, just how easily deployed our solution is. So it's important for resellers, right? You don't want to spend the time and the effort to sell a solution and then wait two, three, six months for it to be deployed for a client site before you get commission. Uh, we deploy quickly, easily, and uh, allow you guys to start earning money quickly. And you can see some of the other, you know, great selling points as well. 
Now, I've said it, we, we, we help our partners. We work with our partners. You are a partner. So we want, to, we want you to be successful. It helps us to be successful. And it helps everybody to make money. So that's what we're all here for. Uh, so we provide you know, all sorts of materials from sales collateral and helping with presentations, logos, if you want to have logos on your site, uh, displaying that you're, you're an IELVOX partner, uh, helping with campaigns. If you're looking to do an email campaign into your customer base and are uh, trying to figure out the right approach or what to say, you know, we're there to help every step of the way. Um, and, and our support as well. So training you, uh, you know, I mentioned, you know, let's get on the phone and talk about targets. If you don't know if somebody is really a good fit for IELVOX, uh, don't dismiss it. You know, give us a call, shoot me an email, let me know what you're thinking, and, and we can, you know, dive in and try to understand if it's a good opportunity. Uh, of course, supporting and, or even conducting uh, demos and calls. So again, not trying to just let you loose and hope that you do well and are successful. Uh, we want to be there to support you. So, you know, myself or another sales executive can be right there on the call with you and helping to, to sell uh, IELBOX all the way through the sales cycle. And of course, ongoing support of those clients as well. Now, kind of getting into the fun stuff, right? Uh, you guys want to know how you can make money. Um, and that's a big reason why, why partners like us. Uh, we do provide a, a pretty healthy commission structure, which I'll get into in a little bit. It allows you guys to increase your revenues, have some steady recurring revenue uh, for the life of the contract. And I mentioned earlier, we really don't lose customers. Uh, we have nearly a 0% churn. I think in all of our years, we've lost one customer. Um, and it wasn't really a bad thing. It was uh, because they got bought by TripAdvisor and they were mandated to move on to a different solution. But it was because of our platform that we helped to, to get them to the point that TripAdvisor acquired them. So it was kind of a good thing. Um, so our customers stay with us, and you guys get to keep earning commissions um, as they continue to be customers. Uh, we can be there to support, uh, as I mentioned, that be as hands-on or hands-off as, as needed for you. Um, you know, whatever works for you guys. We want you to be successful. I'll get into the commissions uh, in a second here. Uh, if you could go back for a second, Clint. Um, but also worth noting is we do have uh, some extra incentives uh, through the end of 2016 and are considering uh, potentially for Q1 as well. Uh, so for any deal that's closed uh, through 2016, we're going to provide an additional bonus equal to the uh, monthly recurring revenue of that deal. So for instance, you sell a $2,500 a month deal, you get your standard commission but you also get a bonus for, for $2,500. So uh, big upside, big opportunity, and uh, we hope that we can get to a lot of deals with a lot of partners after this. So getting into the commissions a little bit, if you want to advance there, Clint. So you can see here, uh, I've tried to highlight, you know, some of the opportunity that you guys really have out there. If you look at the deal size, I put in our minimum deal size. So we don't really uh, do deals less than $2,500 a month. Now, of course, one-off use cases, uh, you know, one-off deals, there's certainly a possibility there. But by and large, uh, $2,500 is our starting point. Now, that's a starting point. We've got clients that pay us $30,000, $50,000 a month. So there's a, a huge opportunity to earn a lot of commissions. So we started a 15% commission, um, and that's for the life of the deal. So you continue to earn that 15% every month as long as they continue to be a paying customer. Uh, once you hit a threshold of $20,000 in monthly recurring revenue, you then get bumped up to a 20% commission. So I won't go through all of the, the scenarios here, uh, but you can see you know, the opportunity is there to, to really earn uh, a, a substantial amount of, of revenue over a, a one-year, five-year, ten-year period. Okay. So, you know, just kind of a, a quick recap. Um, you know, IELVOX is really applicable to all sorts of businesses and all sorts of customers. And when you think about it, most businesses can leverage call tracking in one way or another. So it's really about understanding the business understanding how they make money, how they drive revenue, and really trying to tailor uh, the technology to their specific needs. So again, let's work together. Let's try and figure out whether or not your customer base would work for IELVOX, whether or not they can leverage IELVOX. Uh, but 
most businesses in one form or another uh, can really benefit from call tracking. It's just a matter of under, un, uncovering sort of what their needs are. Um, so again, look for look for your you know across your customer base and across your network, uh, you know businesses that are spending heavily on marketing and have multiple initiatives. So they don't just advertise in one place, but maybe a dozens of places, or they do heavy uh, you know Google AdWord campaigns and keyword campaigns and really rely on phone calls to drive business. If they don't rely on phone calls to drive revenue, they're probably not a great um, target for you to go after or spend your time on. So really focus on those businesses that, that rely on the phone uh, to drive revenue, like real estate agencies, like marketing firms that want to prove ROI to their clients, uh, mention the large restaurant chains. So you know, I encourage you to, to go look at your customer base, look at your network, uh, who do you know that, that relies on, on the phone to drive revenue? Um, and that, that's likely a, a good, good target for Iobox, and we want to work with you guys to bring them on board, turn them into customers, and, uh, and allow you all to, to earn a, a healthy, healthy a bit of revenue uh, from the Iobox platform. So again, I, uh, I want to thank everybody for spending a few minutes to, to listen about Iobox and, and learn about what we do. Uh, I'm available. You can see my email and my phone number there on this slide here. Um, feel free to give me a call anytime. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Or again, like I mentioned, you know, uh, want to, you know, just discuss a, a potential opportunity. Certainly there to help out in any way I can. So, again, appreciate the opportunity, and uh, I'll pass it back to you, Clint, uh, to kind of wrap things up. Okay, yeah, we had a couple more slides to go here, but I wanted to, you know, there was one, a couple questions here. So uh, on the one question would be, um, you, you mentioned you have a 10-year track record, and one of the questions was how long you've been in business. <laughs> so we're going to start with an easy one. Yeah, well, we launched, uh, the business was launched in 2006. Uh, our first product launch was 2007, so just about 10 years. Uh, but right out of the gate, brought on some pretty pretty big brands, uh, like I mentioned there in the beginning. So we've been working with British Telecom since the beginning, uh, the Zoopla Property Group for years now as well. Uh, so about 10 years and um, that we've been in, in operation. Okay, great. And another question, uh, let me see here. How quickly does your average end user typically uh, see a return on investment? Yeah, I mean, it can be very, very fast, uh, you know, within weeks or, or, you know, a month or two. Um, you know, it really depends. So, uh, for instance, I'm working with a client right now, and they spend about a million dollars a month on paid search. Uh, so that's keywords, you know, Google ad campaigns. Uh, and 50% of their business, is, it comes from inbound phone calls, 50%. And they have zero visibility as to what keywords are driving phone calls. Zero. It's a complete guessing game. So once we uh, uh, implement IOBOX and allow them to start seeing what keywords are driving phone calls, I mean, they're going to have a return immediately. They're going to be able to know how to allocate that million dollars much more effectively, allow them to drive revenue much faster. Um, so solutions like that can, can provide value right out of the gate. Cool. Great. Um, so another question. Um, from the audience here, most of our real estate clients are teams within a large organization which provide minimal, if any, dollars for them to advertise. Can you explain how uh, they, how we could target uh, these uh, uh, real estate companies? You know, if we need to focus regionally or, or are there other types of organizations in real estate we can focus on to reach the actual agents? Yeah, so, so working uh, direct to an agent might be difficult um, just because of the level of, of cost for our technology, right? Um, so a, an individual agent might be a tough, um, a tough sell, but the firm or the brokerage that actually does advertising for their agents, or they want to be able to retain the top agents, those are great opportunities. Uh, working with a client um, right now who it's, it's that exact use case. So they've got a, a portfolio of agents that work under their brand. And they want to retain the best ones, obviously. And so they market for their agents. They do advertising for their agents. But they don't really know what's working. And so we're, we're developing a program to allow them to uh, track the effectiveness of the campaigns they're doing on behalf of their agents. But also, uh, 
one feature that we provide is a thing called a whisper. So uh, when somebody calls from an ad, what we can do is play a whisper to that agent that's answering. So the agent knows that XYZ brokerage uh, drove this ad, you know, this call brought to you by, you know, Keller Williams Group or whatever it might be. Um, so it reinforces that brand, reinforces the uh, value that that firm brings to their agents and helps them to retain those top agents. Uh, so that's just one, one use case. Um, again, we work with property portals as well. Um, so, you know, agents that are posting in various portals and various places uh, that want to be able to really understand what's working, what's driving those calls, uh, that's where we're going to bring a lot of value. Okay, great. Uh, a couple more questions here, but I think we're going to have to move on here for, for sake of time. Um, so we'll move on. Thank you very much, Matt, and thanks, Carl, for joining in. Um, you know, getting started with SASMAX, so one of, the, one of the questions was, how does SASMAX fit in? So uh, SASMAX is, you know, we work very hard to help uh, our solution providers. We have, a, we have a marketplace with over 200 apps in it, and we make sure that the the apps that we have and the companies like iVox that we're working with, we make sure they have a good channel program. We, we vet it. We, we take a look at what they're doing, give them suggestions on it, and make sure you're having channel-friendly apps within the marketplace that you can come have confidence in choosing. So it really helps out with the R&D cycles of your companies. Uh, whenever you're looking for new, uh, new new products and services to add to your line card. Uh, and I talked some about this up front, so I'm not sure if the people asking were we're on when I explained that, but we can also uh, give you a call and uh, have one of my partner success managers call and get more into what we do uh, for the resellers. But we do a lot for our resellers and uh, with our back end billing systems. You know, once you get, uh, once you're pushing iOvox and you're pushing, you know, several other apps from SASMAX, uh, we have a back end billing system that tracks your licenses, tracks uh, all your different programs, and it allows you to launch your own web stores as well. To, and we help with, uh, you know, a lot of different marketing and stuff with those web stores. So there's a lot of different uh, services that we provide to you as, as a solution provider. Uh, <coughs> for instance, this is our <coughs> cybersecurity uh, marketplace uh, right here. So we have lots of, lots of exciting uh, security apps coming on as well. So uh, here you can, you can have your own store. You can you're customize it with your brand, your domain name. Uh, you can replace the, the, the main banner ad, ads, add the services that you want. You can bundle packages together. So you can bundle three or four or five different SaaS apps together to sell as a solution uh, and invoice, quote, and bill your clients right from, from your web store. So it, it's it's a very new generation of SaaS Max, which is working very well, and, and we're starting to launch a lot of these stores now. So uh, jump in and, and, and get your web stores. So just another thing that we're offering uh, and in the back end, of course, you have the back end billing system from a solution provider perspective that you can view and track all the different licenses and commissions that are owed you from different uh, your different vendors that you're working with. Uh, we have some upcoming uh, more snapshots coming up on October 10th. Uh, mark the date. They're all at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, um, Eastern Time, 10, 10 p.m. Pacific. We have Pipeliner coming up, the world's most uh, visual CRM. And on December 2nd, uh, Xlenza is an integrated tool set for business excellence uh, for, for managing teams and managing uh, different resources across the organization. So, and we have we have several more coming up. We have uh, you know several several more snapshots that we're getting arranged right now, including some other great presentations from across the SASM standpoint, like from CompTIA and, and some other industry uh, news that we'll be releasing as well. Um, so, don't leave money on the table. You know, work with SASMAX, become a SASMAX uh, solution provider, reseller. This is my contact information. Again, Matt, I wanna I wanna thank you. Uh, uh, correct date, correct date. Rodney's asked what's the correct date. I believe that's the correct date, but uh, for these, but I will check on them, uh, Rodney, and get back to you on, on that and a couple of other questions that you had. So, uh, and we have a few other ones coming up. Yeah, October 10th is in the past. <laughs> November 10th is, is. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I, I didn't catch that. Uh, good catch. <laughs> very good catch, Rodney. Thank you very much. Uh, that's just how my mind's been this week. It has been hit and miss all week and when I typed that in a hurry here this morning I put in October 10th so it is you're right it is November 10th is uh, Pipeliner and December 1st uh, which is the right date uh, is Exlenza so thank you very much Rodney for pointing that out and catching that Carl I also want to thank you I know you didn't get a chance to talk too much is there anything Carl you wanted to leave everyone uh, any thoughts from you no I uh, thank you for the opportunity thank you for everyone for listening and, and thank you Matt I think you put it across Really well. It's an exciting company, iVox. We've got a 
a lot of great clients. We've got a lot of great partners, and uh, I hope we can uh, hope we can find some more through this forum. Thank you very much, everyone, for your time. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Everyone, this ends this concludes this snapshot webinar. Look forward to seeing you at the uh, ones in the future. Have a great afternoon, great morning, wherever you happen to be. Uh, great evening. I think, Carl, you're over in uh, yeah. New England, and uh, it's your evening time. It's probably uh, time. It's pub time over there, I would think. So, I I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Certainly appreciate it.